you staring across the room? If you just started recording in GarageBand, mixing may still be a bit of a mystery to you. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get a great vocal sound in your mix using only GarageBand and the Wave Silver Bundle. First thing I like to do is clean up the tracks. A good example is on the acoustic guitar and mandolin. She stops playing during the verses, but the mic is still recording room noise, which can muddy up the mix. Depending on how many tracks you have like this, it can make a big difference in the vocals standing out in the mix once they're all cleaned up. I then load an EQ plugin, specifically to use the high pass filter to cut the low end that is not needed for vocals. I will cut anywhere from 120 all the way to 200 depending on the vocal. The Q setting adjusts the slope of how much you cut. I usually set the Q setting about here, but you can change it with different vocalists. You can make it very sharp so that it cuts everything, or just have a slight slope gradually cutting into the low end. This cuts out a lot of the room noise on the vocal itself and helps to tame any plosive sounds as well. With just cleaning up the other tracks and cutting the low end, you'll hear quite a bit of a difference in the vocal sound and how it cuts through. Can't fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison kind You can't fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison kind You can't fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison kind If the singer's S's are a bit too sharp and piercing and the track needs it, I will next put in a de -esser. I usually start with a preset and then just adjust slightly for different vocals if needed. You fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison kind You can't fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison kind I know that keeps you satisfied You can't fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison kind I know that keeps you satisfied Next in line I put in a compressor, often two compressors. Here I'm using the C1 first just to tame any peaks and to even the track out a bit. As you can see, the ratio is only 2 to 1, and the threshold is set fairly high for this track, and it is not compressing very much. I also use a fairly fast attack and release on this compressor. You can't fool me like you're the joker I pull those tricks I've seen a million times You probably think I'd mess you over Maybe I am the poison that keeps you satisfied Maybe I am the poison kind I know that keeps you satisfied Maybe I am the poison kind I know that keeps you satisfied for the second compressor, I'm using the Renaissance compressor. Here I'm compressing quite a bit more. The ratio is set to 10 to 1. The attack and the release are a bit slower on this compressor and I boosted the makeup gain about 10 dB. 
and the threshold is a lot lower, giving the vocal a more in-your-face and intimate sound. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You probably think I'd mess you over, maybe I... Settings on both compressors will be different depending on your vocal. However, this is a great place to start and then just adjust accordingly to your track. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. I then put on a second EQ at the end of the chain and boost at 12K using the high shelf. This adds air and a bit of shine to the vocal. Again, experiment with the Q and gain setting. Be careful not to boost too much as it can get a bit brittle. You can also boost or cut any problem frequencies in the low mid to high mid range. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You probably think I'd mess you over. Maybe I am the poison kind. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You can also go back and boost or cut on the first EQ, as this will have a different effect on the compressor if you boost or cut the frequency before it hits the compressor. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You probably Remember, you want the vocal sound to sound good in the entire mix. So when making changes to EQ, compressor, or any of the plugins, it is better to have all of the instruments playing. If you solo the vocal, and make changes to EQ and compression, it's almost guaranteed to sound different when you bring the other instruments back in the mix. Next is reverb and delay or echo. With these effects, I typically like to set them up on an auxiliary bus. However, GarageBand does not have auxiliary buses that third-party plugins can be used on. So you have two choices. You can put the reverb or delay on the track itself and adjust how much dry versus wet sound you want on the plugin, or you have to use the master reverb and master echo that GarageBand offers. However, if you open the same GarageBand file in Logic, you have access to change the reverb and delay to anything you want on the aux channel. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You probably think I'd mess you over. With the variety of different singers, microphones, mic preamps, and rooms that you record in, all vocal recordings will be a little different and need slightly different processing in the mix. The settings I showed you here will get you very close. You will just need to tweak them a little bit to fit your music. You can't fool me like you're the joker. I pull those tricks I've seen a million times. You probably think I'd mess you over. Maybe I am the boy. 